Founding Father Thomas Jefferson, the author of the Declaration of Independence and one of the strongest and most successful minds. Somebody that gave us an opportunity to build such a great country with liberty and prosperity for so many. Well, his statue is under fire at Hofstra University. A group of kids saying no matter this man's contribution to history and this future success of this great country, he was a slaveholder and therefore the statue has got to come down. There's a difference between learning history and memorializing and commemorating someone. A statue is meant to celebrate someone. And we're celebrating a eugenicist, a rapist, and a racist. All right, let's bring in the A-plus panel to break this down for us. Lisa Durden, Frank Luna, and Jeanette Hoffman. Lisa, I'm going to start with you. Thomas Jefferson, iconic founding father, someone that who is revered, Declaration of Independence. We're here in large part and free by a lot of the work that he did. What do you think? Tear it down? The iconic slave master, racist, rapist, his whole entire monument should be moved to the museum. The students aren't saying take it off the campus altogether. They said, let's move it to the museum, which is where it belongs, because a museum is for artifacts and history. I'm for that. Take it away from being celebrated. It's there standing in the middle of the campus. Hey, let's celebrate this man. Why would they celebrate this man? There's 3% of students on that campus who are African American. And why should they walk around feeling like they're disenfranchised because you have a statue of a man that has enslaved their forefathers and foremothers? So Frank, I'm sure you have an opinion on this. Um, nowhere in the history of the world has a nation offered so much to so many in terms of liberty and progress. We are the most progressive nation in the history coming from the Declaration of Independence. Is, is there any positive that can come from a former slaveholder who did as much as Thomas Jefferson? My concern here is I remember when students went to school to learn history, not rewrite it. And we're in a point right now where you have really? these activists on these campuses that want to tear down statues. Thomas Jefferson, look, he's not a perfect person. Who, who is? But he was the president of the United States. They, nobody His, was perfect. That's what I mean. In, nobody in, is perfect. These people aren't saints, but they are the fathers of our country. And what hasn't been reported, Bill, is there a group of students formed a counter protest and sent around a petition to keep Thomas Jefferson and 70 more people signed that petition than the one to take it down. So where does this end? I mean, John Now Kennedy Lisa's going to say that's there. because there are more white students than black students. Campuses no, are exactly the places for protest in 1960. Sure, in the 1960s. Not rewriting history. That, no, but that we did re rewrite history because black people and people who were our allies marched uh, during the civil rights movement on campuses too. That's and exactly that's the place to do it. As well. and, and that's why they said, they didn't say to take it so, down, move it to the Lisa, museum. Lisa, let me ask you, forget even the found, move even it the to the museum. So Lisa, by that logic though, yes. pretty much every founding father, you gotta whitewash history and get rid of everybody. No, you don't whitewash history because you want to know exactly what our history is, but move that monument to the place where history is. So the serious museum. question, given end? the progress that yes. people who have come here from all different races and colors and creeds, et cetera, but do, is there no credit to the founders who forged this there's, country there's through blood. There's zero credit to no the founding to fathers in terms of people who are of African descent because you enslaved us. There's zero credit. You can't say, well, you're the founding fathers, so the America's great, so I'm glad you brought me from Africa and, and le left me different, disenfranchised without, without our, our language, Frank, our food, and our sad culture. Sad state of affairs today. That's and the conversation. To me, to me, it's a sad state of affairs. And, there's just no, there's no common ground anymore, and, and you're one extreme or the other, and the people in the middle are just standing there wondering what the hell is going on in our country. And the common sense, Jeanette? Oh, yeah. Over? I mean, where does it end? This is becoming ridiculous on college campuses. I mean, these people are snowflakes. Everything's offensive. If, if everything's offensive, nothing's offensive, Bill. All right. We'll leave it there. Thanks, guys.